Leslie Brothers, director of the Allrich Museum of Art, and I'm participating in the Allrich Archive Project, where staff members are selecting excerpts of talks from over 80 videos located on our YouTube channel. For this one, I chose Mel Chin's remarkable presentation from 2009. In it, he talks about where art can come from. Going through a broad span of work over time, he describes pieces that are informed by dreams, poetry, science, and people's outrage and injustice. In this section, Chin describes his response to Katrina and his project Operation Pay Dirt, an example of how artists can make a difference by focusing on how people matter. Enjoy. Katrina. I want to talk a little bit about, uh, about this. I was there uh, shortly after the storm, uh, well, months afterwards, but it still it was so heavy duty uh, that I was traumatized. I was traumatized because priding myself in the capacity to think on my feet and come up with things, I was confronted with a situation that I had no response for. It was too it was immeasurable. The magnitude of the tragedy was so great that it's not just the physical, it was the emotional and the sociological devastation was so great that I felt I had no power or capacity or creativity to add. And I left. I left, but I kept coming back. Um, I used to say that this was a project, was covert for two years now, but you know, if I told you about this project back then, I had to kill myself. Uh, because I swore to secrecy, this thing. And luckily, I didn't say a word. Um, but we know about it. There was a storm over New Orleans very well. We know about it, and how many people, probably many people here, probably help people from New Orleans. But I looked at, I finally found out about a disaster that was there before the disaster. It is this map, this map of New Orleans. And this map details something that's critical. 400 parts per million is the level of lead that the EPA sets as a threshold so a child should not touch that bare soil like a playground soil. It should never be above 400 parts per million. There are 86,000 properties in New Orleans above uh, 400 parts per million. There are properties that I've been on at least 3,000 parts per million in the soil. And these are just numbers and we can keep measuring and keep measuring and understanding how New Orleans was the most lead polluted city next to Cleveland in the United States and it was that way before the storm. It was there that way as it is now. And we could start thinking about that way and we can look at the, it's the murder capital of America and we can look at a lot of facts of its educational deficits. But one thing I found out when I was there that this map indicates that 30% of the inner city childhood population of New Orleans are blood poisoned before the storm ever got there. And some of those results of crime about educational deficits are related to lead. It is probably the most studied and understood situation uh, as far as medical realities are concerned. So what I'm really talking about is something in the blood. It's in the blood. And it's, it's within children uh, and we have to uh, it became my means when I first understood this, I understood it as something that I had to tackle. These are like conceptual notes, but essentially it's idea of rebuilding from below the ground up and this idea of the magnitude of the tragedy deserves something of equal magnitude to respond. And that's, um, and when I first heard about the blood poisoning of the kids, I said, okay, let's work towards a solution and the scientist at the time that I was talking to, Dr. Howard Milkey, who'd studied the soils and uh, toxicology for like 20 something years, said it'd take about $300 million. Uh, that's how much it would cost. I immediately said to him on September 29th, 2006, I cannot raise that much money, but we can make that much money. And this is the beginning of this $100 bill project, see? Because there is value in that. So this is a nice, um, idea of, I'm sorry, this is PowerPoint and you have to endure all these fancy things. Um, so it's an Operation Pay Dirt and there's a covert, there was a covert and clean side uh, to it. Now it's out in the open. It's called Fundred, right? 
And then there's a difficult and dirty aspect of really transforming the soils and doing the job. So this is one part. The fundred on the clean shovel is the making of the art, the making of the voices that we, could, we can bring in to deliver the solution. And there's also a pragmatic aspect of the science and the program in order to execute the coverage and the transformation of 86,000 properties. You have all this. And hey, man, is Wichita there? Well, it will be. OK. And you have children engaged with this process all over the country, right? And you all know the Fundra.site, uh, Fundra.org site. If you don't know it, check it out. It's kind of wonky. We're trying to redesign it. But it's done by this, you know, it's done by me, probably. Uh, <laughs> but you can download the template. You can get the template, and it's real simple. And you could use it from, as a historical, scientific, or art experiment, and you can work with your children or, any, or yourself. Uh, it's, the age limit is 125 years old, if you're that old. I only say it as a limit because you, you don't want to take advantage of someone's too old to make a decision if they want to donate the bill or not. And you can get a variety. You're able to draw. There you can do animals, you know. And I love, like, the logo, uh, instead of, in God we trust, this young uh, woman wrote, ooh la la. I like that, too. I'd take that. <laughs> um, and you could have, uh, you know, underdog will survive and people, so you could have faces, places, people, whatever you want to do. It's an operation where it's a simple drawing of currency that is creative currency that has tremendous value as far as we're concerned. And this bill is very important to me because it's one of the bills I've got from a child who was stranded somewhere in Tennessee. I've never met her. I don't know who she is, but it's a map of New Orleans or, or the state of Louisiana and forgotten. And her home was last, her last home was the Superdome. And it's a black sun. And the slogan there is not ooh la la or in God we trust. It is the simple word, help. So we have a pickup plan. We have the pickup plan, and we have the tools to do this. We have an armored car that runs in straight vegetable oil. It will stop at school cafeterias and refill with its uh, used cooking oil. Its payload will be 7,000 pounds of drawings. That's at one gram a piece. I only estimate it to actually 6,608 pounds is what we estimate uh, 3 million drawings will be. We will collect all of it every drawing, and we will take it to the steps of D.C., to Obama-rama and Mr. Joe Biden, and we will ask. We'll ask for the even exchange. We'll ask for the even exchange to support a method of, of science and uh, an organization to transform all those properties, okay? So that's what it is. That's what it is. And the process we use is called TLC. You, you know, the lead is the nasty, nasty. The lead is treated with a compound that changes it. It's called Apatite II. And it changes the lead that can get into the blood, into the bone, into the brain. And that's the most damage because it removes the plasticity of the brain is the lead. We have to get it so it's non-bioavailable. -bio there will be a chemical sexual bond that is unbreakable. And this bond is called pyromorphite. And that pyromorphite cannot be digested by the animal, human, or pet, or anything that ingests it, it will pass through. We have to get it there. And then we will cover it with some of the cleanest soil in the United States that washes down at 300 million tons a minute in the Mississippi River. So the key to this thing is New Orleans itself. We want to envision, I want you to envision that New Orleans will be the rescue city. It will no longer be the pariah city that needs help in the most dangerous city. It will be the city that has transformed its entire ecology. And it could be there to have the methodologies and the materials of the soil and the science to save Detroit, to save Philadelphia, to save Cleveland and all these places. And that's what we're talking about, and Baltimore. So update. There is a safe house. This safe house was constructed. I actually worked on it. I always put this slide in because people say, you don't do a damn thing. But uh, <laughs> so I did work on it. And it is operational. And we, had a, we cracked the safe door open. And people filed in. 
and we had a meeting where we announced the reality that New Orleans is lead poisoned. Sitting to my left was Dr. Ha uh, Kevin Stevens, and he's the, the, the head of the health department of the city of New Orleans, and Dr. Howard Milkey, Mary Rubin, my uh, national coordinator. Howard Milkey is a toxicologist who isolated the problem in the soil. Dr. Andrew Hunt is a geochemist working under protocol. And uh, Kristen Lamarck is the New Orleans Childhood Lead Poisoning Prevention Program. We all sat there. We were locked in the vault till they came in and people came in at our national press conference. And on the walls were fundreds. It was not full then, now it's full. We have now 6,000 fundreds on the wall in New Orleans. And Uma, Uma Thurman came in and did one. She's real tall, so I said, you get in that stool and put it up there, Uma. And uh, go, girl. <laughs> it was not a kill bill. It was a make a bill kind of <laughs> routine. So she's down with that. Uh, so, and we have operatives. We had our first operative meeting way back when in New York City. They're carefully blotted out, so we don't know who they are at the time. Now they can be revealed. Our armored car did come to New Orleans, and we had more operatives then. But now it is cool because it is exposed, and we are asking that uh, Amy, who's been working with us here in Wichita, Amy, you stand up a second because she's been helping out, and, and, and Carolyn, who mentioned, we need help. We need interns or whatever to help out because we would love to match the promise of Arkansas that wants to deliver 500,000 bills. We can do it. It's not, yes, we can. Yes, we must do this because we will deliver the message. And I want to tell you, I have prepared the Kansas. We have digressed because of today. I, I, I swear by this because of March. Today's the 5th? Okay. I rerouted the pickup route. We are coming to Wichita. We will come with armored car. So that's the story. I mean, I think that, but well, thank you for your patience and everything. I'm so happy to be here in Wichita. And thank you for your generosity very much. Thank you.